So I am 3-1 and one going into this game, and something needed to be done in the lineup, man. It's ever, yeah, something big needed to be done because I noticed, too, a couple people actually commented and were like, you should move Dawson up to the number one spot, and that was that's funny because that's legit what I was thinking after the previous game just because Dawson hasn't got anything going. I think he only has one base hit in a... A good number of at-bats, too, because the last BR game I played was nine innings. So we had at least four at-bats in that game, maybe even more. I think it was around four at-bats, and then I think I played, what? Yeah, so yeah, he probably has around at least, yeah, eight at-bats at least, eight or nine at-bats. So yeah, one hit with this 99 Dawson isn't cutting it. So yeah, Dawson has been moved up to the top spot in the lineup. I mean, that was a good call from everyone who... Who said that? Because I was thinking the exact same thing. I was just hoping that I could get D Gordon on base, could get the uh, the 88 overall Johnny Damon on base, get that speed on base, and then with somebody like the 99 Dawson, get get him up to the plate with some with some people on, then you know he should be able to cash in those runs. But that hasn't been the case so far. I think the only base hit he got was. Uh, like an RBI single or something. So he did get an RBI in the process, which I was hoping he could do in this BR run. But yeah, number yeah, he's, he's probably going to be leading off in the rest of these games. And I was hoping I could get something to go with him early in this game. This guy's able to get a double uh, to right field with the flashback Hunter Pence, I believe that was. So now there is one, or, yeah, one down still. So this guy is threatening. All this guy needs to do is just find the outfield and he could possibly... Get the go-ahead run in in BR. The first run is must-needed. So right there, this guy was... I knew this guy was going to take off for third base. But unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, come up with that cleanly with Wilson Ramos. So he does make it in the third base. So yeah, this guy is easily going to score if he, fi if, he gets, if he finds a hole pretty much. But Damon is making that grab in left field right there. So I avoid any damage done in the first inning. So this is when Dawson needs to do something, man. He is struggling. To quote jo Joe Namath struggling so first pit that's bad man that is bad but i think andre dawson is getting fucking heated swing and a drive to right there it goes to lead off the inning yes let's go boys let's go dawson man let's get the bats going because a big winning streak is gonna have to take place for this to be a success I got the first loss way sooner than I would have hoped. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and complain like a little bitch, but it was kind of weird how I got that loss. I mean, apparently, when you hit like a soft hit line drive at one of your infielders, they don't want to make the play. So that's kind of why, that I, obviously, I'm not just saying that was the only reason. There's other situations that go on in-game that could possibly... Uh, change this the overall outcome of the game so I'm not pointing it on that play but I'm, that's that's just the play that did end the game for myself so that's all I can think about when I think about that loss pretty much but yeah going up in this game one nothing with the solo shot from the 99 Dawson so this it needs to start Dawson is not slowing down anymore he's not gonna be slowing down after the solo shot in this game so top of the second able to get the first out of this inning on a ground out to short again so Joaquin Benoit is inserted. I've been using him pretty much against all the right-handers. I haven't really been using that many other relievers. I think I used Brandon Morrow a couple of times. And I used a couple other right-handers too. I forget who it was. But I don't know, man. Maybe if I'm lucky enough to get some Ws, I'll probably be uh, using some other right-handers other than Benoit because I think his inside edge is also uh, down as well. So I think his overall is down to an 80, maybe even a 79 or something. So that's... Maybe that's why. Maybe something's going on with Joaquin Benoit that I don't know about because it seems like every time he is in... Maybe I'm just making bad pitches. I don't even know. But Joaquin Benoit hasn't done that well every time he's been inserted. So Castellanos has been doing very well whenever, whenever he's been playing. I think I started John Jaso. I think I, put, I took Castellanos out for some reason and put John Jaso in uh, for this game. But this is why I put in Castellanos for John Jaso right here. Because he's been doing work. That's a solo shot for Castellanos. I think that's his second of this BR run so far. So now I'm going up 2-0 in this game. So I got some well-needed insurance going into the top of the third when I eventually get there. Maybe I can get some more insurance. So Wilson Ramos, he's been actually doing alright as well, I think. I think he's 
Got a couple base hits, I'm pretty sure, so far. Maybe even a couple RBIs as well. But he's able to get a base hit right there, so maybe I can even get some more insurance. So this is the rookie Eric Karos, I believe. Not too impressive of a card or anything, but I have been doing very good with the, the breakout Eric Karos in just ranked seasons and stuff. So this is why he was inserted. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do anything right there. Ground up to third base, ends that inning. So Brandon Morrow is in. Like I said, I used him a couple of times. I don't think he's... You know, he's not anything, cr anything crazy. I think he's only a common pitcher, to be honest. Or maybe, is he only, uh, maybe a bronze. I'm not really sure. But he does have a good variety of pitches. He does have a splitter. And even, he, he can throw at least, what is it, 95? At least 95 on the gun, I'm pretty sure. So this isn't even that bad of a card. He did do very well out of the pen. Gets the first two outs fairly quickly. And then Rajai Davis is up. Runs that out with a very good speed. I thought that was going to happen for sure. And it does. So, please... Don't give me some BS right here. So Wilson Ramos with the hose throws Davis out trying to steal second base. That ends this game. Andre Dawson gets player of the game. Was one for one with a solo shot. So this is possibly when Andre Dawson is going to be is going to be heating up because this needs to happen if the squad is going to go on a little bit of a win streak. So next game Dawson is still leading it off. And apparently this guy is on YouTube as well. So what is this? Is this a YouTube showdown or some shit? This is what I am seeing in front of my face. That this is some YouTube showdown. Alright, so let's do this. Let's fucking do this. So th this guy is the away team. So he's going to be leading it off. This guy's a pretty solid team. I mean, Al Tuve is on this guy's squad. He was one of my favorite cards to use in MLB 16. So uh, trying to keep Al Tuve off the bases. That's... That's what that's that's number one that need number one on the agenda that needed to happen in this game to keep Altuve off the bases. So right there, he almost goes. I guess not. Almost goes deep. Doesn't make it to the warning track, but that is a fairly hit or a fairly well hit ball to left field. Damon makes that grab easily. And I, I was just saying it in the previous game, and I still put in Joaquin Benoit. Although I was saying it, uh, I was saying it in every game, every single game. I was just saying I don't think I should put Joaquin Benoit in, but something just. I don't even know. Something just came over me, and I was just like, you know what? Maybe Joaquin Benoit can come in in this very moment and then do something good, and then I'll shut my ass up saying that he's doing bad and shit. But he is able to come up with a base hit right there with Carlos Beltran, so now Mookie Betts is up. I mean, I did have some other people warming up in the pen, but I'm able to get Mookie Betts to fly out to second base. So Kipnis does make that grab. That's a big out right there, man. Get Mookie Betts off base, and now just need one more. Get this guy. Don't let this guy score first. You need the first run in BR, dude. This guy almost sends something deep. It was looking like it was going to keep carrying for a second, but Cargo does make that grab, and I'm able to avoid any more damage done. So first pitch of this at bat for Dawson. He's sending one to the opposite field, and that keeps carrying and carrying, and that leaves. So Dawson, so far, two since I moved him up to the number one spot in the lineup, two for two. Two solo shots. I think it's safe to say Dawson has broken out of the slump. So Damon is up next. He sends one to left field. That is a base hit right there. So now I got that. Like I got that speed on base. 77 speed isn't too amazing or anything, but I am taking off with Damon. And Sterling Castro is up now. So Damon makes it into second base. So now Sterling Castro just needs to come up with a base hit. Find the gap possibly. Get a stand-up triple and get that run in. So I should have been sitting on something inside because usually that's what happens when you have uh, lefties that you face with, you know, with sinkers. Usually you do see a lot of sinkers on the inside part of the plate. But right there, Castro isn't able to find the outfield grass, isn't able to find a hole. And I'm just lining out to second base. Altuve makes that grab. And then Cargo is up. He's sending one fairly deep to left field. Actually, that wasn't that deep. It was just a... It was just a pretty, I don't know, that was just an easy fly ball to left field is what I should say. So Cargo is going down. That's the end of that inning. So now we are in the top of the second. And this guy is looking to find Triples Alley. That, I don't know, man. It is terrifying. It is scary as shit, man. Whenever you see a ball, just, it, you, the ball will be tailing away from your outfield or something, right? It's just like, sometimes you'll, you'll think that you'll be on that shit 100% and it'll just keep carrying. It'll just leave the yard. So, thank God that did stay in the ballpark, although that wasn't even close to making it to the fence. That just seems to be the case. Whenever the ball is kind of tailing away from your outfielder or something, it'll seem like it'll just leave the yard, and you'll just be like, what the fuck? How did that happen? But, yeah, first two outs of this inning. 
are coming fairly quickly. Zach Britton is in, and the next guy coming to the plate, sinker up in a way, he's just flying out in foul territory. So now we're going to the bottom of the second. Just need three more outs, and this should be. This is looking good. Just three more outs. It should be good. Zach Britton is in, so I mean, I wouldn't want anyone else in the game, even against righties. I am. Um, yeah, I'm very comfortable using Zach Britton against righty. So, D. Gordon isn't able to come up with a base hit right there. D. Gordon needed to be moved down in the lineup because, yeah, he's been he's been kind of pissing me off in this BR run 100%. So, Wilson, so Wilson Ramos, two batters later, isn't able to come up with a base hit. So, that's the end of that. And then, so, like I said, three more outs. And this is going to be in the bag. But, unfortunately, this guy is able to find triples alley and that is 100% going to be a stand up triple so this is getting very interesting now in the top of the third this guy has the the tying run on third base so Altuve is up two batters later he sent a one fairly deep again to left field that is pretty much making it to the warning track so he is able to get in the tying run sack fly for Altuve he does his job so all that needs to happen now is I just can't let this guy take the lead. So Beltron is back up. He sends one pretty deep again. And Cargo is making that grab in right field. So now we're going to the fucking terrifying bottom of the third. But I am up in the bottom of the third. So it's not as terrifying as when you were on the mound. So Lucas Duda is in. I've been using him a lot off the bench. I pretty much put him in every uh, pinch hitting situation. Because he does have that 96 power. Which is what you need against those righties. So he was able to get ahead of this count. I think I was down 0-2, but able to fight my way back a little bit. Now 2-2 in this count. Duda, I thought he got a hold of that. I thought for sure Duda got a hold of that, but apparently I just got under it because that was pretty well struck, but he does make that grab in right field. So now, Dawson. He's the last two at-bats. Dawson has two home runs on the board. And yes, it was to lead off the game, so everyone's probably saying you did... Face some shitty pitchers. So now this is when Dawson is going to be tested. Right here. Able to get ahead of the count. 2-0. I was on that. But Dawson does capitalize. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. What the hell is Dawson sniffing in the dugout? The past three at-bats. Three solo shots. And he gives the squad another W. So Dawson is a changed man at the top of the lineup. That is another W. That's a walk-off right there from Dawson. Two for two. Look at all those twos. Two for two in this game with two solo shots, one being the walk-off. So Dawson is a man on a mission, apparently, at the top of the lineup now. 